this is somebody who's the audience thinks is one kind of person and and then makes these discoveries about as the movie goes on so I kind of get to play uh, take advantage of um, the fact that I'm playing a my own vision of what somebody like this character would be it, it, it's hard to explain exactly except that you know Robert's really smart and 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 understands movies really well and because he's written a multi-layered script where you have one level of reality and then you reveal another level of reality and another level of reality, um, you really can't appreciate kind of the whole movie entirely, maybe until you watch it the second time because there's so much of it that is, um, might seem a little off or a little strange or disconcerting and then later on you understand why it is that way. And, and I really like the complicated multi-layered aspect of it and I like the acting challenge of, um, you know, basically, you know, my characters, uh, I play a detective at the beginning and then you realize later that that entire period has, has been where um, I'm under this like hypnotic spell and being kind of taken through this fantasy. So it's really my fantasy of what a detective's like. It's not really a real detective, which is kind of a lot like what some movies are. So it plays into the genre tropes of the detective movie in a kind of a fun way and gets to play with that. And um, and then it turns out I'm just a much more normal kind of regular dad, a guy, and, uh, and so that's fine. I get to play multiple characters. The movie's about um, a guy trying to find his daughter who's missing, um, and the series of discoveries you make over the course of the movie about what really happened and who's really got the daughter and why and a lot of different motives are revealed and like a lot of fun movies with twists and turns you know it, it stays fun the whole way through because it keeps being surprising great what made me want to do the movie was that the script had a number of different levels to it I thought it was one thing turned into something else turned into something else and by the end I realized this is going to be a lot of fun to play this character um, and even more than that, because of Robert and his, my admiration for him as a director, I've always wanted to work with him, I've always been inspired by him, what he's done from the beginning of his career on, and I make it a kind of mission to work with directors that I can learn from, and I've learned a lot. I love working down here in Robert's whole setup, he told me about it. I, didn't really understand what he had going on and it's like it's hard for me not to be jealous because it's my fantasy world you know he's very much like you know somebody came and visited me and, and was like he's like a kid with toys he's, he's like you and I was like yeah I feel the same way like he's got all this great stuff to play with this back lot of his own and it's like a movie filmmaker's fantasy My favorite thing about the characters in this movie is that every time you think you understand them, you learn something new and they change. And so all of the characters are really fun that way. The actors are terrific, um, but I really love the, the change that my character makes in particular. I think it's really fun. The benefit of having directed movies is that when you work with somebody who's really sharp technically you, you kind of know what they're looking for you know what they're doing you know what they want and hopefully I know how to give it to them and it's really lovely with Robert because he kind of treats me with the respect of hey you know what I'm doing and what I'm going for and that shorthand and so we can cut to the chase very fast and I know that when he skips through stuff and he really is only going to use this piece for the end and this shot another piece in the earlier shot and I appreciate and respect the speed with which he moves as well as the uh, precision and desire for excellence you, you know and it's it's really interesting to me and I've learned a lot because I've seen how you can both move really fast and do good work and those things don't usually go hand in hand. It's such a fun environment. Robert's such a fun filmmaker. He's such an open, collaborative guy. 
I mean, we just have common interests. And if I could, I would do exactly what he's done. You know, this is my fantasy filmmaker world. So it's, it is a joy. I didn't know what it was going to be like coming into this. And it's kind of, I feel like I found a kindred spirit in Robert in the sense that we both really love the all the technical, creative aspects that go into filmmaking. And it's, it's, it's really fun to work with somebody who you, who you both admire and look up to and who's really friendly and kind and who is really inclusive in this process. Elise is just wonderful. I, I've been such a fan and admirers, admirer of hers for so long and I was really ho hopeful that we could get her for the movie and when that worked out I was really excited. And she's just a real pro and she's so committed and she's so uh, passionate about what she does. It's contagious, you know, you can't help but really feel a tremendous amount of energy and, and kind of excitement for the art form when you, when you work with her. Um, so, you know, and those have been the people that I've principally, like, you know, done most of my scenes with, and they're, they're just fabulous.